we want to use the binomial theorem to expand the quantity 2x minus 3 raised to the fourth power. The binomial theorem is stated here below, and while it looks fairly involved, if we take a look at each term individually and break it into three parts, I think we'll see the pattern in the theorem, which will make it much easier to remember. Notice for the quantity x plus y raised to the power of n, each term has a combination, and each term also has an x part and a y part. Notice for the quantity x plus y raised to the power of n, the combinations are n choose zero, then n choose one, n choose two, and so on, all the way out to n choose n. Then looking at the factors of x and y, notice how the first term has n factors of x, where n is the original exponent on the binomial, and zero factors of y, and then successive terms drop factors of x and start to pick up factors of y. Notice the second term has x to the power of n minus one and y to the first, so we dropped one factor of x and picked up one factor of y, and the pattern continues. The next term we have x to the power of n minus two, y to the second. We continue this until we have x to the zero power and y to the nth. So to expand the quantity two x minus three raised to the fourth, the first term will have the combination four choose zero, and then our first term is two x, and the second term in the binomial is negative three, since we have minus three, so we'll have four factors of two x and zero factors of negative three. For the next term, we'll have four choose one, and now we'll start dropping factors of two x and picking up factors of negative three. So we have two x to the third, negative three to the first. For the next term, we'll have four choose two, and then we'll have two factors of two x and two factors of negative three. Next term, we'll have four choose three, and we'll have one factor of two x and three factors of negative three, plus the last term, we'll have four choose four, and then we'll have zero factors of two x and four factors of negative three. So now we've applied the binomial theorem, we just need to simplify each term, so we have to evaluate the combinations and then raise each of these terms to the appropriate power. So we'll show all the work for this one. Four choose zero, definition would be four factorial divided by zero factorial and then four minus zero factorial or four factorial. Two x to the fourth power would be sixteen x to the fourth and negative three to the zero is equal to one plus four choose one is equal to four factorial divided by one factorial three factorial times two x to the third, that would be eight x cubed. Negative three to the first is equal to negative three plus four choose two is equal to four factorial divided by two factorial two factorial. Two x to the second is equal to four x squared negative three squared is equal to nine, plus four choose three, that's equal to four factorial divided by three factorial one factorial. Two x to the first is equal to two x, negative three to the third is equal to negative twenty-seven. The last term we have four choose four, which is four factorial divided by four factorial zero factorial. Two x to the zero is equal to one, and negative three to the fourth is equal to eighty-one. Let's go ahead and continue this on the next slide. So to finish, we'll simplify this one more time. Notice here we have four factorial over four factorial, that simplifies to one. Zero factorial is equal to one. So our first term is sixteen x to the fourth. Next we have four factorial divided by one factorial three factorial. Well, we can write four factorial as four times three factorial. We have one factorial, three factorial in the denominator. Notice how this simplifies to one, so this simplifies nicely to four. So the next term, 
we'll have four times eight times negative three. That's negative 96 x to the third. So we have minus 96 x to the third. Next we have four factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial. So let's go ahead and write that as four times three times two times one over two times one times two times one. Well, two times two is equal to four, so this simplifies to one. So this simplifies nicely to six. So we have six times four times nine, which is equal to 216. So we have plus 216 x squared. Next, we have four factorial divided by three factorial, one factorial. Well, this fraction is equivalent to this fraction, which simplified to four. So we have four times two times negative 27, which is equal to negative 216. We also have a factor of x, so we have minus 216x. And then for this last term, this fraction is equivalent to this fraction here, but we can also see this simplifies to one. The last term would be plus 81. This is our expansion for the quantity two x minus three raised to the fourth power. I do want to mention though that we could find the value of these combinations using Pascal's triangle, which we'll go over in another video. I hope you found this helpful.